Welcome back, guys. So I'm hearing, guys, that some of y'all are dealing with someone who um, wants to return. They want to return to you, but they feel like it's best if you guys, if y'all were to come back together, but keep it a secret. So, yeah, let's dig into that. Let's find out what's what. I kept hearing the word secret. I was sitting here singing a song, and on the TV, I'm sitting here watching TV, and the secret commercial came on the same time that I sat there and was singing a song, something, something secret, and boom. So that was definitely confirmation. So somebody wants to keep somebody a secret. Somebody wants to return, but they want it to be a secret. Okay, so let's find out what's going on. Why is this? Why does this have to be a secret? Show this person's energy. Why are they returning and what are their intentions? What's this person's intentions and why does it have to be a secret? Why do they want to keep the connection a secret? It could either be for good reasons or sneaky reasons. Because I believe in privacy, you know, not a secret, but private. Um, but then you got some people that need things to be a secret because they're hiding things from someone else. Okay, so let's go ahead and find out what's, what, what's going on with this energy. Yeah. This person is spying. They're investigating, like doing some research on you. We got the Page of Swords, the Moon, the Eight of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. So somebody's trying to figure something out. Somebody's trying to figure something out, okay? You got somebody who's doing some spying, trying to get some information. It looks like... I'm seeing, I'm hearing the relationship didn't make it this far just from, uh, it looks like somebody got what they wanted. Didn't think, somebody didn't think that the relationship was going to get that far. Um, seemed like somebody wanted somebody to have some regrets. But see, like I said, somebody sitting here spying with this page of swords and this moon trying to get information. Okay, this person could be trying to get information about where someone is living or who somebody's dealing with, if somebody's married or in a commitment already. Yeah, see, somebody's saying that they don't, they're not sure if it's true or not. Four of Cups, Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. They're not sure if it's true or not. Because it's a lot of back and forth that's going on. Okay. So, it looks like somebody is spying. Could be, somebody must know that this masculine is coming towards you. Um, so, they're trying to do some investigating. Like, that's what it seemed like to me. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Ten of Swords. Eight of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Three of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Queen, I'm sorry, the Strength, and Four of Swords. So from what I'm seeing is this masculine is holding off to, could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They're holding on to this person. They're holding on to you. They're still, they haven't let you go. Um, there could be a Leo involved. All I'm seeing is Queen of Cups in the, in strength here. So water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or strength. It could be any sign for, for that matter. It could just, this is just energy. But I see this masculine still holding on. This masculine hasn't communicated with this Queen of Cups yet, and they're missing this person. So let's see what's going on. They ended things. It was a total, complete ending. It looks like with you and this person, it was like a complete ending. Like if it was possibly a betrayal, whenever it ended, it ended for good. There was no continuation after that. Why is it Ten of Swords here? Queen of Wands. Okay. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm definitely picking up Leo. Okay. I'm getting somebody. The challenge is cutting this queen of wands off or this queen of wands feel feels betrayed by this masculine 
Yeah, because see, this masculine wants to return back to somebody from his past. Could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So this masculine wants to go back to someone in, from his past. Yep, this masculine wants this Queen of Cups. Nine of Cups, Queen of Cups. And he's coming. The masculine is coming towards you. I feel like it's been on hold for a long time. It's been on hold for a while, but this masculine is coming towards you. Okay, it could be a cancer. They miss you. Yep. Five of Swords. Like, they've been in a lot of conflict. I'm getting... This karmic could be envious of you, jealous of you. I feel like this masculine also feel like y'all ended on bad terms. So, they want to come back and make something right. Yes, this person wants to communicate. They want to communicate with you. They want to tell you that they still love you. Look at this. The Eight of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and the Lovers. Look at this Ace of Cups. This person still has feelings for you. They still love you. They still care about you. Could be a Gemini. Yep, Ten of Pentacles. They still want this connection. They want to heal this connection. But it seems like they've been they are watching you from a distance. Scared to approach you because they feel like you're going to bring up something from the past. What happened in the past? So, could be a King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I see this. This masculine has been thinking a lot. Has been doing a lot of thinking. They're coming up with ideas. And they're just trying to make the right decision. They're trying to make the right choice. Okay, because I see them in the past having some type of awakening and coming to some type of realization that they need to make a final decision. And I feel like they feel like you guys' situation could have been actually worked out. But somebody has so many control issues. Okay, this masculine is very controlling, likes to argue, manipulative, um, um Brings anxiety to the situation. This masculine also is saying, give me a reason to keep to keep it going. They need a reason to keep. Their wanting was wanting you to give them some type of reason to get for them to continue on. Continue the relationship. This masculine can't wait to see you. They can't wait to see you. But it's a lot going on. Like It's like they got to sneak off, okay? And like I said, the energy is real sneaky. It's like they got to sneak off, um, possibly from this karmic. Why is this four of pentacles here? Yep, this person's still stuck on you. Four of pentacles and an eight of swords. This, this energy ain't never, they never stop. They never stop thinking about you. Like you're on their mind really heavy. Yes, I'm getting like, this person thinks of you a lot. They want to tell you that how they feel. They want to tell you that they love you, that they miss you. They can't wait to see you. I'm hearing things are starting to slow down. I feel like things are starting to slow down a little bit. Like you're kind of taking things a, little, a lot slower and being a lot more... Um, like taking care of yourself. I feel like you're not too focused on this person as much as this person is focused on you. Maybe you don't even see this coming, okay? But but I feel like yeah. See, you don't even see it coming. Two of Wands and the Tower. It's gonna come up out of the blue. You could get a phone call from this person, a text message, an email, or this person showing you some type of sign that they're trying to reach out to you. You don't even see it coming. You're not even thinking about it. It looks like you're taking care of yourself. Yep. Um, 
out of the blue, I'm getting that you're going to get some type of call, some type of call or some type of message from this person. They feel like you've been gone a long time. They want to talk to you. Could be a King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right, four of swords. This person could be coming around for sex too. Like that's they have this like lusty energy. Yeah, I see. I was on a break period, but I feel like this masculine is wanting to uh, just. I'm getting sneaky. Like he got to sneak off. He got to sneak off, and I feel like it's because he's dealing with the karmic that he doesn't want to completely let go of. Yeah, I'm hearing <laughs> this person is was hoping that you answer or hoping that you reach out because the intuition was telling you that you <laughs> that you was waiting or you hung up on this person or something like that. But it's I'm hearing also Yeah, I'm hearing I didn't have a choice but to leave. And this person is manipulative as hell. We got a magician and a devil. I'm getting this person was feeling bad vibes at first about it. But then they thought about it. Um, they thought about it and tried everything they, that they could to come around and see what you had going on. But for some reason, they didn't stay. Um, I'm getting as well too like they're having regrets. They're having regrets about it. Now we got the Queen of Swords here. It could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and a Page of Swords. So this person is definitely watching you. I see y'all on on a break. Okay, I'm hearing take your your own advice. This person feels like you should take your own advice. They've been sitting here watching you and spying on you. So maybe something that you've been posting or something that they that you that they follow you on. They I'm hearing you need to take your own advice. Take your own advice. That's what this person is saying. Yep, the moon and the paper source again. And this person is like legit stalking you. I'm here, you better hurry up and go back. Hurry up and go back. See, this person, they've been watching you, either through social media, like, trying to pick your brain. So they've been waiting for you to, to talk about, you know, how you feel. The Ace of Swords and the King of Wands. They've been waiting for you to talk about what you're passionate about, what you feel. And then, see, this is them trying to hurry up and come back. Trying to hurry up and fix things. Um, them trying to return. Okay? And then we got that Five of Wands. They could be coming with some drama, though. Why is that Five of Wands here? This is their chance to talk to you. Um, okay. They want to talk to you straight up. Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor. This is their chance to have a grown-up conversation with you. Like a mature. I'm hearing this is their chance to have a mature conversation with you. Because they've been watching you. They see like you've been making some type of changes. Um, and they feel like it's their chance now to try to jump in. Because it seems like you're shifting. Like you're going through some type of shift. Okay, so they want to come in and tell you how they feel. That they miss you. They love you still. You're still on their mind. But it's like they have to sneak and do it. They can't just straight up come and do it. They have to sneak off. And then it looks like they want to have this conversation with you. But they have to sneak off to do it. To come to you and have this conversation face to face. I'm getting a, a call and then possible meet up. But this person wanting to talk to you face to face or at least have a mature conversation with you. All right. So that's what I got, y'all. Y'all let me know what's going on in that comment section below. And I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.